jump on board my magical mini bus. Let's see what characters we'll meet on Nursery Rhyme Street. Jack and Jill went up the hill to start on their adventure. Kate and Chris, not wanting to miss the fun, came racing after. So off on their playtime they'll go. They'll meet, who can say, who knows? Humpty Dumpty up on the wall. The old King Cole told him he'd fall. And Wee Willy Winky running through town. The three blind mice have hidden his nightgown. Around each corner there's a new friend to meet. So let's get started here at Nursery Live Street. Isn't it a lovely day? Oh yes. I wish we could all go for a long ride down Nursery Rhyme Street. What a great idea, Chris. Want to come too, Kate? Yes, that sounds like so much fun. I just need my coat. <gasps> and I need my hat. Guys, we should get ready first. Brush our teeth, clean our face and comb our hair. Yeah! I can't wait for my teeth to be nice and clean. Hey! I know a song that will make this fun. This is the way we brush our teeth. We brush our teeth. We brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth. So early in the morning. This is the way we wash our face. We wash our face. We wash our face. This is the way we wash our face so early in the morning. This is the way we comb our hair, we comb our hair, we comb our hair. This is the way we comb our hair so early in the morning. Now we're all clean and ready to start the day. It's so important to brush our teeth, but now let's go and have some real fun. Yeah! yeah. I wonder what characters we'll meet on Nursery Rhyme Street. Come on, everybody. Jump on board my magical minibus. Let's see what characters we'll meet on Nursery Rhyme Street. <laughs> Whoa, yeah! yeah! This is going to be so much fun. I love riding on the bus. Yeah. And look at all the wheels go round and round. Oh, wow. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. The horn on the bus goes. Dumpty's fallen off the wall. Let's go help him. He's our friend. Hey, Humpty, are you okay? I don't know, Jack. Can you put me back together? What happened, Humpty? I know. Humpty Dumpty he sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. That was so nice of the king's horses and all the king's men to try and help poor Humpty. Yes, but where is the king? Oh, he's a great guy. Would you guys want to meet him? <laughs> yeah! yeah.
There's the king. But who are they? The fiddlers, silly. <laughs> <laughs> old King Cole was a merry old soul. A merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bow, and he called for his fiddlers three. So, there are three fiddlers, right Jack? That's right Kate, but what does three mean? Well, I know. Three is a number. What's a number, Chris? Are there lots of them? I know all about numbers. Let me teach you. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to learn how to count to ten. You're in luck, Kate. That's what we're doing now. Numbers one to ten. First we've got one and two, followed by three, four. Don't forget to mention five and let's count on some more. After five comes number six, then the seven, eight and nine. Now we've got to number ten and we've had such a time. First we've got one and two, followed by three, four. Don't forget to mention five and let's count on some more. After five comes number six, then the seven, eight, and nine. Now we've got to number ten, and we've had such a time. That was fun. Yeah, but have we learned to count all the numbers? Oh no, there are many more numbers. I love numbers. Tell us more, Chris. I have an idea. Let's do something really fun. Let's count all the way to... One hundred! Yeah! One, two, three! Four, five, six! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty! Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty! 31, 32, 33, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100! <laughs> Numbers are really fun to learn. I know. The tricky thing is remembering them all. How can we do that? I have an idea. How, Jack? Come on. Tell us! I know how we can remember all the numbers we've learned. Through telling stories. Let me tell you a story of the five little monkeys. Five little monkeys. One, two, three, three four, four, five. five. What did the five little monkeys do, Jack? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bowed his head. So 
So Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed Four little monkeys jumping on the bed One fell off and bowed his head So Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed Three little monkeys jumping on the bed one fell off and bowed his head So Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed Two little monkeys jumping on the bed One fell off and bowed his head so Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed One little monkey jumping on the bed None fell off and bowed their heads So Mama called the doctor and the doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed No little monkeys jumping on the bed None fell off and bowed their heads So Mama called the doctor and the doctor said Put those monkeys back in bed That was great fun! But I feel sad for the little monkeys getting hurt. I'm sure they're all okay, Kate. That makes me wonder. What kind of a sound does a monkey make? Why don't we visit Old MacDonald's farm? We can see and hear many animals there. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait! Let's go then. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the wonderful animals! Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some pigs, E-I-E-I-O With an oink oink here and an oink oink there Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some ducks, E-I-E-I-O With a quack quack here and a quack quack there Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack Oink oink here and an oink oink there Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O and on that farm he had some cows, E-I-E-I-O With a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo Quack quack here and a quack quack there Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack Oink oink here and an oink oink there Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink Old MacDonald had a farm, e Donald, how are you doing today? I'm very well, Jack. And who are your new friends? These are my friends, Kate and Chris. Hi, guys. Hi, Jill. Everybody, this is Jill. Hi, Jill. Hello, Jill. I love all these animals. They have their own special movements, too. Not just sounds. Really? Whoa. Why don't we all practice what the animals do? Like this. Moo. If you're a duck, what would you do? You go quack quack, quack quack. If you're a duck, what would you do? You go quack quack, quack quack. If you're a duck, what would you do? What is the movement you would do? If you're a duck, you'd really 
wanna go quack 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 quack. If you're a cow, what would you do? You go moo 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 moo. If you're a cow, what would you do? You go moo 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 moo. If you're a cow, what would you do? What is the movement you would do? If you're a cow, you'd really wanna go moo 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 moo. If you're a dog, what would you do? You go woof woof. If you're a dog, what would you do? You'd go woof 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 woof. If you're a dog, what would you do? What is the movement you would do? If you're a dog, you'd really wanna go woof 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 woof. Wow! It must be hard work looking after all the animals on the farm. You're spot on there, Kate. It is hard work, but today is different. Today, I'm relaxing. Why is that, Old MacDonald? Well, Chris, today is Sunday. Let me teach you the seven days of the week, kids. Seven is after six and before eight. Very good, Kate. Do you know what comes after Sunday? Well, it all starts with Monday. The first day of the week is Monday, followed by Tuesday. Then we've got Wednesday. The first day of the week is Monday, Tuesday, then Wednesday. After Wednesday, then comes Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, right before Friday. Friday's the best, I can't pretend, because then needs the weekend. The weekend days are so much fun. Saturday, Sunday too. Now we're done singing through all the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday too. Thursday, Friday, nearly through. Saturday and Sunday, few. Now we are finished. <laughs> that was such a great thing to learn. Tomorrow must be Monday. <laughs> Excellent, Kate. Tell us, old MacDonald. Do we have just seven days? Or are there any more days, like June and July? June and July are months, not days. Yes, Jack. You're right. Months. What, what are, are months, months, old, old MacDonald? Well, kids, there are 12 months in one year, and they all go in a special order. What are they called? The first one is January. January, February are the first months of the year. March, April, May, June, March, April, May, June. Halfway through, halfway through. July, July, August, blue sky, September, October, November, December, November, December, start again, start again. January, February are the first months of the year. March, April, May, June, March, April, May, June, halfway through, halfway through. July, July, August, blue sky, September, October, November, December, November, December, now we're through, well done you. We are learning so much today. Yeah, we are. <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, Don't Joe. worry. That reminds me of Little Miss Muffet. Who's Little Miss Muffet, Jack? Little Miss Muffet was a small girl, just like Jill, who got scared by a spider. Can you tell us her story? Sure. Sing along with me. Is there a spider in it? <laughs> of course, silly. But it's a nice spider. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. 
Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. That was a lovely song. But I think the spider never meant to scare little Miss Muffet. You're right, Chris. The spider was on her way to the top of the roof and never meant to scare anyone. But how did the spider manage to climb up? Climbing up the roof is not an easy task for our friend the spider. Why, Jack? Well, let me tell you. I want to know too. Maybe the spider wasn't trying to scare me either. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Poor spider. No matter how hard she tried, she was washed out of the spout every time. Don't worry about the spider, Kate. She did manage to climb up the roof after all. Spiders are very crafty creatures. Wow, spiders are so cool. Hey, where's Jill? Is she still too scared to come out? She's over there, near the tree. Oh no, Jill doesn't look too happy. <laughs> Hey! Come on, Jill. Don't be scared. I'm sorry. I'm still so very frightened of spiders. The spider's gone now, Jill, and we want you to smile again. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Good to see you smiling again, Jill. That was a really fun song. But tell us more about hands, Jack. Hands are cool, but there's so much more. Do you know the names of this, 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 and this? No. no? It's so important to know the names of all your body parts. I know a great way to learn them. Tell us, Jack. This is my arm. This is my leg. You guys are off to a great start. Let's keep going. Hands, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Hands, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. I know an even more fun way to learn about these. Fingers! Do they all have different names? No, they're all the same. Not so, Chris. Each finger has its own special name. I wish we had a song to learn them with. Oh, I know a really cool song that will help. Really, Jill? 
Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you this morning? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you this morning? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. I love singing, but all these songs are making me very thirsty. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, me too. me too. Hey, there's a well at the top of the hill, Jack. A well? That's where you get water that's come from the ground. I'll go get some for us. Wait, Jill. I'll help you. We'll stay here, Jack and Jill, while you fetch a pail of water. I hope they're okay up there. That is a very steep hill. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Poor Jack. Are you okay? I think so. Thanks, Kate. How about we all go up the hill together this time? What a great idea, Jill. Friends need to stick together. I hope the poor little pussycat isn't stuck in the well. What pussycat? Did she fall in? No, she was put there. Ding dong bell, pussy's in the well. Who put her in? Little Johnny Flynn. Who pulled her out? Little Tommy Stout. What a naughty boy was that. Tried to drop a pussy cat. Who ne'er did any harm but killed all the mice in the farmer's barn. That naughty little Boy, Johnny was so horrible to do that. Poor little kitty. Who is that? And who are all those men with him? There are 10,000 men, and they take their orders from the grand old Duke of York. Let me tell you the story. Yes, please do. What are they doing? Marching, Chris. But why? You'll have to ask the Duke himself. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. He had 10,000 men He marched them up to the top of the hill And he marched them down again And when they were up, they were up And when they were down, they were down And when they were only halfway up They were neither up nor down I'm glad I don't have to march like that I'd much rather be a sailor on a boat Oh, like that one? Yeah, like that one I want to be a sailor too, uh, but what do they do? Sail out to sea, silly. <laughs> That'd be a great life. Imagine what you'd see. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Sea and sea. The words are different, but sound the same. A sailor went to what he could see, see, see And all that he could see, see, see Was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see A sailor went to see, see, see To see what 
that he could see, 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 and all that he could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. <laughs> wow, that was fun. I wish I knew how to spell all those cool words, though. Well, Chris, we should go over our ABCs. Yes, because C and C are different words, but... C is also a letter on its own. <laughs> I know. A, B, C, like one, two, three. Let's learn our ABCs in a fun way. Then we can spell out words ourselves. Oh, I can't wait. But what are all the letters called when you put them together? It's called the alphabet, Jill. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now you know your ABCs. Next time you can sing with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, We know all the letters of the alphabet. That's fantastic. Just think of all the words we can spell now. Isn't it important to know the sounds in the words too? Good point, Chris. I wonder what that's called. Is it phonics? 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 Oh, yes, guys. We can sound out the words to help us spell them. Cool. Let's do it. You're in luck, guys. I know a fun little song all about phonics. Ah, 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 it's for apple. Ba, 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 it's for ball. Ka, 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 it's for cat. Da, 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 it's for dog. This is the phonics song. Come join with us and sing along. You're going to have so much fun with us. It's for frog. G, g, g. It's for gorilla. Ha, ha, ha. It's a house. This is the phonics song. Come join with us and sing along. You're going to have so much fun with us. It's for igloo. J, j, j. It's for juice. This is the funny song come join. 
join with us and sing along. You're going to have so much fun with us. That was awesome, Jill. Oh, thanks, Chris. Guys, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was all, all, all is for lamb. Speaking of lambs, look who it is. It's Mary and her little lamb. That cute little lamb follows Mary wherever she goes. What about when she goes to school? Yes, I think it follows her there too. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its face was white as snow. Fluffy sheep. Hey, look, it's a little black sheep. Oh, he's so cute. Have you all heard the song Ba Ba Black Sheep? It's about a little black sheep and his three bags of wool. Oh, can you sing it for us, Jack? Ba Ba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the day. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the day. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the day. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. reminds me of a little boy who looks after his sheep. Who is that, Kate? Oh, I know who you mean. He has sheep and cows too. It was little boy Blue who looked after sheep and cows. I wonder what else little boy Blue did. I heard he was actually blue. Blue? Like the colour? Or was he just a sad little boy? Let's find out. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. But where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under a haystack and he's fast asleep. Will you wake him? Oh no, no, not I. For if I do, he'll surely Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. But where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under a haystack and he's fast asleep. Will you wake him? Oh no, no, not I. For if I do, he'll surely begin to cry. 
wasn't actually blue like the color. I can think of something that is blue. What's that, Jack? I know, the clear blue water in the stream. That's exactly what I was thinking, Kate. <gasps> I have a great idea, guys. Why don't we go row a boat down the stream? Oh, yeah! yeah. yeah. Come on! Oh, this will be so relaxing, don't you think, guys? Yes, Jill. Life is but a dream. Hey, that's a line from the song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, life is but a dream. Merrily, 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 row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. I love being out here in the stream. I wonder what animals live here on the water. What about the ducks? Are there ducks here, Jack? Yes, five little ducks. Well, there were five little ducks. Are they all okay? Yes, what happened to those little ducks? Five little ducks went out one day Over the hill and far away Mother duck said quack, 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 quack But only four little ducks came back Four little ducks went out one day Over the hill and far away Mother duck said quack, 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 quack But only three little ducks came back Three little ducks went out one day Over the hill and far away Mother duck said quack, 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 quack But only two little ducks came back Two little ducks went out one day Over the hill and far away Mother duck said quack, 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 quack But only one little duck came back One little duck went out one day Over the hill and far away Mother duck said quack, 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 quack But none of the five little ducks came back Sad mother duck went out one day Over the hill and far away Sad mother duck said quack, quack, quack And all of her five little ducks came back Oh, that was so sad! I thought they wouldn't come back! It's okay, Jill. They all came back to the mama duck in the end. It's a happy story! Guys, look at that! London Bridge is falling down! Don't worry, Jill. I'm sure this has a happy ending too. Can you rebuild a bridge? Of course you can! And it will be even stronger than before! London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. London Bridge will last forevermore. That's right, Jill. Hey. What's that on the shore? It looks like... like... a big shoe. I know who lives there. Don't you guys? No. Who? Nope. who? It's the old woman who lived in a shoe. Let's go visit her. Why 
Why does she live in a shoe, Jack? Why not, Kate? <sighs> I wish I lived in a shoe. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread. Then whipped them all soundly and put them to bed. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread. Then whipped them all soundly and put them to bed. Okay, I don't want to live in a shoe anymore. If you did, you'd have neighbours like this old man. Which old man? Oh, he's quite famous too. He's very good at playing knick-knack. Where does this old man play knick-knack? Everywhere, Chris. Then he goes rolling home. Is this him now? Yes. Watch out, guys. He might even play knick-knack on your shoe. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack. Paddy whack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played two. He played knick-knack on my shoe with a knick-knack. Paddy whack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played three. He played knick-knack on my knee with a knick-knack. Paddy whack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played four. He played knick-knack on my door with a knick-knack. Paddy whack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played five. He played knick-knack on my hive with a knick-knack. Paddy whack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. <laughs> All this fun has made my shoe come undone. <laughs> Not the big shoe. No, Jill. This shoe. You'd better buckle your shoe, Chris. You don't want to trip over. Okay. One, two, buckle my shoe. One, two, buckle my shoe. Hey, that reminds me of a little song. Sounds like fun. How does it go? Is this a song that will help us practice our numbers too? Yes, it is. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, knock at the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, play them straight. Nine, ten, a big bad ten. Eleven, twelve, dig and delve. Thirteen, fourteen, maids are courting. Fifteen, sixteen, maids in the kitchen. Seventeen, eighteen, maids in waiting. Nineteen, twenty, my plate's empty. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, knock at the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Fun, but I wonder what time it is. Why don't we follow that little mouse? I've heard about a mouse who runs up a clock. That might be him. I'm scared of mice, aren't you, Jill? Oh no, I love mice, especially this one. I've heard he likes to run up the clock. A mouse running up a clock? Like in Hickory Dickory Dock? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a good one! Let's go! He ran up more than once, you know. Really? Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock, hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two and down he flew. Hickory dickory dock. 
Hickory dickory dock The mouse ran up the clock The clock struck three and he did flee Hickory dickory dock Hickory dickory dock The mouse ran up the clock The clock struck one, the mouse ran down Hickory dickory dock Hickory dickory dock The mouse ran up the clock The clock struck two and down he flew Hickory dickory dock Hickory dickory dock The mouse ran up the clock The clock struck three and he did flee Hickory dickory dock Hey guys! Look! There's another three little mice! Oh, come on! They won't hurt you. They can't even see you. What? Blind mice? I know who those mice are. It's the three blind mice. Come on, let's follow Jill. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. See how they run. See how they run. Three blind mice, three blind mice, see how they run, see how they run. The poor little mice. I wonder what Mary would do if she had seen the mice. <laughs> I know, Mary's not too fond of mice. But where is Mary? Mary, Mary, quite contrary. I think she would be in her garden at this time of the day. Let's go visit her in her beautiful garden. Look at all the lovely flowers. They are pretty, but how do they grow? Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells And pretty maids all in a row Mary, Mary, quite contrary How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells And pretty maids all in a row <laughs> Who was that? He's made Mary cry. That must be Georgie Porgy. Why is he kissing the girls and making them cry? Georgie Porgy kisses girls and makes them cry. That's what he does. <gasps> There's a song about him. It's called Georgie Porgy Pudding and Pie. He sounds horrible. <laughs> he gets frightened when other boys come out to play. We can scare him off. Georgie Porgy Pudding and Pie Kissed the girls and made them cry When all the boys came out to play Georgie Porgy ran away Georgie Porgy Pudding and Pie Kissed the girls and made them cry When all the boys came out to play Georgie Porgy ran away It's okay now. Georgie Porgy is gone. That is so much fun. Let's sing another song. Wow. Look at all these lovely roses. Put them in your pocket, Jill, and sing along. We can sing ring a ring of roses <sighs> Now I have a pocket full of posies. Hey, I know this song. Don't we all fall down? We all fall down? Ring a ring of roses, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue. We all fall down. Ring a ring of roses, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a 
a tissue, we all fall down. Ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of poses, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of poses, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. This dancing is making me hungry. Let's go over there. It's a pumpkin patch. Wow! Look at that giant pumpkin. Why is it so big? <gasps> There's a lady inside. It must be Mrs. Pumpkin Eater. Who? Let me tell you about Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater and his poor old wife. Is that his wife inside the giant pumpkin? Yes, Kate. What is she doing in there? Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater Had a wife and couldn't keep her Put her in a pumpkin shell And there he kept her very well Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, had a wife and couldn't keep her. Put her in a pumpkin shell and there he kept her very well. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, had a wife and couldn't keep her. Put her in a pumpkin shell and there he kept her very well. I don't think I like Peter Peter the pumpkin eater very much. All he does is eat pumpkin all day long. I ate too much pumpkin. Why don't we all head back to my house for some tea? Yeah. Yeah. I want tea! Oh my! It's starting to rain! It's no fun when it's raining! We can't play outside! Maybe we can wish the rain away! What do you mean, Jack? Rain, rain, go away! Come again! Children want to play, never show your face again. Rain, rain, go away, come again another day. Little children want to play, never show your face again. It stopped raining! Yeah! <laughs> but we're still all soaked from the rain. I would love some tea right now. Can you make tea, Jill? Come inside, everybody. I know someone special who can make really good tea. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. No. <laughs> Take a seat, everybody. The little teapot will make us some tea. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Wow! A magical teapot! Mmm, -mm, this is good tea. Yes, it is good tea. Hey, Jack! Is this whole house yours? Yes, Jill, because I built it. 
This is the house that you built? This is the house that Jack built. What's in your house, Jack? Are there any mice? No, but there's a rat. And a cat. This is the house that Jack built. This is the malt that, that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the rat that ate the malt that, that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the cat that killed the rat that ate the malt that, that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the dog that will eat the cat that killed the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the cow with the crumpled horn that tossed the dog that worried the cat that killed the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the maid and all forlorn that milked the cow with the crumpled horn that tossed the dog that worried the cat that killed the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the man all tattered and torn that kissed the maid and all forlorn that milked the cow with the crumpled horn that tossed the dog that worried the cat that killed the rat that ate the malt that, that lay, lay in the house that Jack built. This is the priest all shaven and shorn that married the man all tattered and torn that kissed the maid and all forlorn that milked the cow with the crumpled horn that tossed the dog that worried the cat that killed the rat that ate the malt that, that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the cock that crowed in the morn That woke the priest all shaven and shorn That married the man all tattered and torn That kissed the maid and all forlorn That milked the cow with the crumpled horn That tossed the dog That worried the cat That killed the rat That ate the malt That, that lay in the, the house, house that Jack built This is the farmer sowing his corn That kept the cock that crowed in the morn That woke the priest all shaven and shorn That married the man all tattered and torn That kissed the maid and all forlorn That milked the cow with the crumpled that tossed the dog That worried the cat That killed the rat That ate the malt That, that lay in the house that Jack built This is the horse and the hound and the horn That belonged to the farmer sowing his corn That kept the cock that crowed in the morn That woke the priest all shaven and shorn That married the man all tattered and torn that kissed the maid and all forlorn That milked the cow with the crumpled horn That tossed the dog That worried the cat That killed the rat That ate the malt That lay in the house that Jack built What's that? Oh, it's probably just our friend the baker. Oh, has he come to make us some food? Not just for you, silly. Mr. Baker, are you going to bake us all a cake? As fast as I can, kids. I can't wait to have some cake. Oh, well, can we help too, Mr. Baker? Why don't we all sing pat a cake? Pat a cake, pat a cake, bake a man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with B. Put in the oven for baby and me. Pat a cake, pat a cake, bake a man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with B. Put in the oven for baby and me. Mmm, -mm, that was delicious. Thanks, Mr. Baker. You know what else I like to eat? What is it, Jill? Mmm, I can smell... Hot, cross, buns. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yum. I love hot cross buns. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. If you have no daughters, give them to your sons, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. If you have no daughters, give them to your sons. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Guys, look! It's night time. We've had such a great day. Let's go outside and look at the stars.
Look, there's only one star. There'll be many more later, Chris. But this one's special. This is the first star we'll see tonight. It's so bright. Maybe we should make a wish. Quickly, before the other stars come out. Good idea, Chris. I'm going to make a wish. Starlight, star bright. The first star I see tonight. I wish, I may, I wish, I might have the wish. I wish tonight. Starlight, star bright, the first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have the wish I wish tonight. just jumped over the moon! Whoa! And look! There's a little cat over there with a fiddle! Hey! I know what's going on here! What, Jack? Have you guys heard the song, Hey Diddle Diddle, the Cat and the Fiddle? Hey! Yeah! I think I know that one! Guys, look! A dish and a spoon running off together? What is going on? Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. All this excitement has worn me out. Maybe we should all get ready for bed. Come on, everybody. Let's go inside. Where is the light switch? Here we go. This'll do. Put it down on the ground, Jack. I bet I can jump over the candlestick. Don't hurt yourself, Jack. Candles can be very dangerous. Yes, but I am nimble and quick. Jack, be nimble, Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Jack jumped high, Jack jumped low. Jack jumped over and burned his toe. Jack, be nimble, Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Jack jumped high, Jack jumped low. Jack jumped over and burned his toe. Phew! I'm glad you're okay, Jack. But I think it's time for bed now. Maybe we should go sing the baby a lullaby first. Oh, that would be really nice, so she can fall asleep. Okay, let's go find Mrs. Baker and her little one. Which lullaby should we sing? My favourite lullaby is Rockabye Baby. Do you know what happens in Rockabye Baby, Jill? I think the baby is in the treetop. Yes, but her mama is there watching her the whole time. Shh! Guys, let's all sing in our softest voices. Rock-a-bye, baby, in the treetop. Baby, 
cradle and all. Poor teddy bear fell out of the cot. That's not the baby's teddy bear, Chris. It's mine! I know who this teddy bear is. He likes to turn around and touch his toes. Teddy bear, turn around! Whoa, I didn't know my teddy bear could do that. Oh, he can do lots of things. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, jump up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Teddy bear, teddy bear, go upstairs. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say your prayers. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn out the light. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. Come on, guys. Let's leave the baby to sleep. We should all get ready for bed. I wonder if we'll have a visitor tonight. Wee Willy Winky will probably come to check that we are in bed. Are we all tucked in tight? Wee Willy Winky only comes by after ten o'clock. When he does, we'll hear a knock. Wee Willy Winky runs through the town Upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown Tapping at the window, crying at the lock Are the children in their bed? For now it's ten o'clock Wee Willy Winky runs through the town Upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown Tapping at the window, crying at the lock Are the children in their bed? For now it's ten o'clock Wee Willy Winky runs through the town Upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown Tapping at the window, crying at the lock Are the children in their bed? For now it's ten o'clock the stars are shining brightly in the night sky. You were right, Kate. There's so many of them. They're just beautiful. See how the stars twinkle? <sighs> I'm sleepy. It's been such a wonderful day. Wow. wow. <gasps> how about one last song before we go to sleep? Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star want to know something really magical, guys. What, what is it? If you wish on a star, all your dreams will come true. All your dreams will come true? What will you wish for, Jack? I wish that we will all be friends forever. Oh, wow. That's a great wish. I'm going to wish for that, too. Me, too. Me, too.